Oh my god, this is so exciting. Honestly, you have just changed your marketing game. I am so excited for you. Um, one of the things that so many entrepreneurial, amazing entrepreneurial women like yourself, like myself as well, forget is that one of our greatest marketing assets is in fact ourself, right? Don't be humble about it. We're the ones who founded these businesses. We're the ones who grew them from scratch. And it's okay because sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we get lost in the day-to-day -day grind um, and we get kind of stuck, right? But it's okay because in fact, it, now it's time to use yourself as a key marketing asset. And if there's one thing that I know, this is one of the most authentic ways to actually market yourself in your business. So why aren't we using it? Come on. Um, so one of the baselines that I use is always starting with our body shape. I know it's, it's, it's revolutionary, I know, but it's something that we skip over a lot. And without knowing what our body shape is, it means we cannot create balance, visual balance in our marketing and in our appearance. So as soon as people perceive something that is out of balance visually, and this could be done through color, it could be done through shape, it could be done through cut, um, they will instantly begin to distrust whatever you are saying, whatever you are doing, um, because they'll be distracted and because they will start to go in that fight or flight. It's like, do I trust this person? Is that person physically, you know, well enough to lead me? And they are looking for a leader and they want you to lead them. Um, and that's why we need to start creating personal brands um, because as we know, people work with the people. They don't work with the businesses first. So let's start doing that. So as I said, how we start doing that is simply through what our body shapes are and you are an hourglass. So I'm going to take you through how you can start using your amazing shape to your advantage. I'm really excited. Okay, first things first, it doesn't matter what shape you are. It's all about creating that important balance um, and showing off the shape. So an hourglass, you're lucky, right? You've got it a bit easier but you can still make just the same mistakes i've had so many amazing clients that are in fact hourglasses and you'd be surprised because they're dressing and showing off themselves as you know something that's like top heavy or bottom heavy or something so when i take those measurements and really find out what they are it's like whoa didn't know you were that shape and it's all through what they were wearing and how they're appearing and that was damaging their branding so as an hourglass, what we want to do is bring out that figure. We want to show that waist. So it's all about, you know, showing off that amazing waist that we have. So it really shows the beautiful feminine figure that we possess. So really take advantage of that. And there's a few different ways how you can do that. You know, it's not about appearing sleazy or slutty or anything like that. In fact, it's actually in most circles, um, in, in particular when you're you know, appearing as a leader, um, less is actually more. And I don't mean that by <laughs> the amount of items that you're wearing. Um, you can get into that later. So, um, but this means that we know how we can begin dressing ourselves. We can, we can begin aligning our wardrobe to it and we can begin taking advantage of this so that our audiences will trust us more. So the first thing that you can start using this for, in particular in this world of ours, that is very much so moving online, is with your online presence, for your Zooms, for any of the looms that you are doing. And you can start positioning yourself really effectively and quickly with this. So a lot of women, um, we get stuck in that maternal aspect and that like soft feminine aspect and flow when in fact we actually need to really embrace a little bit of that masculinity um, and show ourselves as a powerful leader that is dangerous in the arena. Um, so we can do that simply through the cuts that we wear. So the more angular cuts, the V lines, the, um, the stronger cuts that we wear, they can do that. They instantly communicate that. We don't even have to say a thing. 
just through instantly what we're wearing. Have a look at the photos and the imagery of the top CEOs in the world, of the top influencers in the world, and you will see something that they are doing with their style that all aligns. So you can go to extreme of that and be like, I'm political leader, me, me, me. Or you can really embrace your unique personality and have some fun with that. So the softer you go, the opposite end, the softer edges, the softer silhouettes that you go, you are actually, you know, embracing that feminine. You're taking in that, you know, appearing, you know, more loving, more vulnerable. And you can absolutely use that to your advantage as well. Um, you pick and choose when you want to be, you know, really hard-ass masculine and when you want to be more feminine, more in flow. And that will honestly really depend on your audience as well. So it's being aware of when you're wearing those aspects um, and who you're talking to and how you want to do it. It's really, really important. And there'll be times that you actually want to mix them up. So, you know, exactly, you know, I'm, I'm doing that right now, in fact. You know, I'm, I I'm, happen to be an hourglass. And I'm doing that right now for a mix of A-line and soft feminine sleeves. It's that simple and really, really cool. And it completely changed the effect of how you are marketing visually to your audience. It's really, ah, oh, mm, going to sh, sh now and get to the cool stuff. Okay. So I put together a little outline and style. You can download this. This is downloadable. But I wanted to give you some juicy, juicy stuff in person as well. Um, so all my genius is coming out when I talk. So the fact that you're watching this, okay. So as I said before, what we want to do is really highlight the waist, bring out the waist and bring out the shape. Since we do have the luxury of being an hourglass, it's a bit more straightforward. We can have a bit more fun with our style. Um, all, all shapes can have fun with their style. For us, it's just realized like, as soon as you pull out the waist, it's fine. And then you just take into account what kind of hourglass you might be, whether it's elongated, whether it's petite, um, whatever it is, you might have to take in account some little extra little unique bits. Okay, so I love this style personally. It's, it's really unique. So pants are so good to show that power. They show a lot of attitude. They show a lot of like modernism in how you're leading. Um, that pants or jeans um, mixed with like heels is to die for. It shows so much attitude and it also shows a point of difference because a lot of people can't really afford to move in that kind of way either. Um, if you think about it, if you're wearing this kind of thing outside of that really corporate look, it's quite hard to achieve. So if you can achieve this, awesome. Mixing it with a big, bright top that's strong shoulder as well will balance the look. So as long as you bring it in on the waist, you can change up the look with like a belt, with something. She's also got a deep V, which is perfect balance between those feminine colors that she's got on and the soft hair, the softer feminine hair. Yeah, your hair silhouette comes into it as well. Don't think it doesn't. So it will completely change the look. She's also made sure, um, like if she's a petite, that she's elongating her leg by not having cross straps on her shoes and having like a stiletto that will completely make her leg appear that's going straight down to the ground. Really, really cool. Um, and then you can play around with colors and all that kind of stuff. And okay, moving on to my next favorite look um, is a look that's like you have that structure. So you mix that structure, the powerful with like that feminine flow. And she's also done this with the colors as well. So that's why I wanted to ch you know, choose this image to show you um, the potential of mixing up that. So you could add some grunge and do that with like a loose t-shirt or something like that. Or you can increase that power, that professionalism um, and that regalness with, you know, what she's wearing, which is a sleeker, silkier fabric. Adding that little bit of extra texture with like a, you know, massive clutch as well. Perfect. Okay, so if you are a petite, it's really, 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 really good to notice that having straps like this on your sandals um, is awesome. I love them because it means that they stay on your feet really easily. However, don't 
wear them if your skirt hem goes below your knee okay if your skirt hem is above your knee awesome if it goes below your knee often more often than not then we'll be up here a bit stumpy um if you're tall go for it you can get away with it you lucky ducks um okay another thing to really notice with all of these ones is that to make sure that where you have your sleeve um, and your cuff is not at the same height. Okay, this is a really tricky little thing. <laughs> um, not at the same height as your waistline. So having it at the same height as your waistline, if she was to have her sleeves rolled up to here, means that she's just created a massive block that stops. It creates no length. It's, it's just ruined the length of her figure. And it's really important to create length in your figure. She's done that through the... Um, neckline she's done that through the continuation of the sleeves she's done that through the sheerness of her skirt so if she was to roll those up it would completely destroy it so we want to create length um, as well as the balance of shape because that is what creates the appearance of leadership um, and this is just those weird little things that humans just love to notice um, but it's really 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 important so um, just these simple little tricks like that can completely elevate your marketing strategy and your brand. This is a great one. I love the off the shoulder, you know, like slight, it's super regal um, and also retains the power. You can have a play around with, you know, the colors that you're wearing. She's balanced this, you know, gorgeous hair and that kind of like the, the, the subtlety and the feminism, feminist, <laughs> Fem feminist? feminine view of a neckline um, by wearing that structured black and you know that structured black is where the power comes in so it's really really cool balance of styles in how she's done that this is perfect for a um, hourglass because it brings out that shape in your shoulders and it will balance with your hips so because we have those amazing hips guys um, also with this one, it's, you can see that the drape of the fabric is showing the waist. Really cool. You can use drape as well, um, to appear or feel more confident in your body as well. So it's a great way to hide any lumps and bumps that you're uncomfortable with, um, and just get over it. Like, and I don't say that as a, just get over it. Um, I mean, it's a fake it until you make it. So I am a believer of using whatever means possible to set yourself up for success. If you need to use Spanx, if you need to or want to use drape fabric or whatever to make yourself feel amazing and comfortable. If you are not comfortable, you cannot hope to be confident and lead. So this is all about comfort and balance, guys. You don't have to... You know, if you don't like to wear stilettos because they're not comfortable, don't wear stilettos. Anyway, so use those. I wear Spanx um, when I want to um, because that's what I feel comfortable in and it makes me feel more confident because I'm more comfortable because it covers up the lumps and bumps and I want to set myself up for success. Boom. Okay, last one. This is a great, I love, I love the straight necklines, the square necklines awesome and it's something that you know as our glasses not many other people can take advantage of because we can have the advantage of really widening that neckline and showing strong shoulders this is fun because it is such a different neckline you don't see many of them really in our circles at all really i'm trying to think so it's it's fun to take advantage of and use you know bringing in a strong you know even a sleeker fabric it just Mm, elevates everything about the look she's also balanced it out because she's got a quite a loose top and loose pants and she's kind of done that it's also got great texture on the pants and then really broadening the structure and the strength with the belt so i hope this has proved really fun um please dive into your wardrobe and have a look if you do not have things that suit your hourglass figure then say thank you and goodbye um start wearing this stuff online when you're presenting in lives and see the changes that are going to be created if you are keen to find out more this is honestly this is just the baseline i'm so excited oh my god okay. 
then please set up a free 15 minute chat with us if you want to really dive in deep really quickly because we're people of action or follow us. Um, we'll be doing a few more of these. I'll be doing some webinars later and um, see, make sure you keep an eye on impact driven style because we want to help you create massive impact in your marketing.